For the update there, Watershed is still trying to figure all these things out. Teresa Bowles, she joins us live now with an update of what's taking place where she is. Teresa? Well, Ron, Atlanta Watershed replaced in a 140-year-old pipe today, but they aren't done with repairs just yet. People living nearby say they're without water and they're looking for any sign of completion. Until now, Kevin McClellan was helping his neighbors near West Peachtree Street that are struggling with water supply issues. He even opened his home to let them shower at his place. Even though we're right here on 11th Street, that it hasn't affected us at all. So we've had full water every day since the beginning. But for some reason this morning we woke up and it was just a trickle. It's his first day of setbacks. However, Olivia Elzey came back from her trip Monday to no water at all. It's definitely been frustrating, I think, working from home, especially and like just trying to cook and do the dishes. And In order to do her daily tasks, Elsie's had to improvise. We bought water from the store and we just got like a couple jugs we've been trying to use for drinking and flushing the toilet and then showering at a friend's house. But she's hoping it won't be much longer. For now, McClellan grabbed a case from Atlanta Fire Rescue, a temporary solution to the long term patients he and everyone else in the area will have to face until the construction is done. I'm expecting with the repairs that are happening right there within the next day or so, I should be good to go again. No word on when repairs will be complete and when water will again be flowing through this area. Live in Atlanta, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News.